automated transport 1-138 on final approach to Cairn installation. Cortosis removal unit, please stand by to board transport ship. Affirmative, sir. Cortosis removal team standing by. Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Outcast, and I... Did you happen to get down to the armory? Not yet. We're supposed to be getting some new blasters from R&D. Yeah, that'd be nice. This thing hasn't been too accurate. He's just speaking my mind. Alright, let's just uh, start with something here. Let's see, um... Lightsaber defense is now rank 2! No, that's always been rank 2. But now we have fast style lightsaber offense, uh, which is actually really nice, not for killing Jedi's, but for killing just the regular enemies, which we're going to be using almost all the time. Uh, Force seal is still one. This is still these two are still two. Everything else, else here seems to be still the same. I think this may have changed though lightsaber throw, so that should be nice. Uh, but before we start, uh, I need to fucking change stuff. Okay. So the default game doesn't. Oh, oh, let's put it. Let's find a blue. It's actually pretty good, and also this game is loud as fuck to me, not to you. To you, it's the same volume it's always been, which is absolutely perfect. Oh, these guys are all the way up here. Can I pull them? No. So this, is, this one's actually kind of cool, and it also brings in an interesting mechanic, which is the chaining of uh, attacks. Can I just, like, go up here and then on, onto them? What's this guy doing? He's just chilling. Don't let him get away. <laughs> well, he's, he's disarmed. <laughs> this guy doesn't know either. Alright, now they both don't have weapons. Oh, look at, look at this guy, he's just chilling up here. Alright, so... Oh, that guy just committed suicide. He's <laughs> just casually just gonna walk away, alright? You know, turn the other Anyone cheek. Wow, that's a rather violent death. Alright, so... Uh, the way it kind of works with the lightsaber styles is so this one can be chained infinite amount of time So I just hold it down. and I just keep doing shit Like it just it's just very fast attacks that are kind of lower damaging uh, And you're not as exposed to I guess getting hit by stuff uh, And you can also do this. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna do it No uh. Okay, so I, I thought you could do a thrust attack, but it's possible it's one of those things where someone has to be in front of me, like this this thing. Okay, oh, I killed the R2 unit. That's okay. Thing sucks anyways. Well, it's, it, it is kind of a neat. It is really neat. So we, we're going to be using this basically all the time when we see uh, regular enemies, just because, uh, you know, less time swing the saber around is more time blocking and reflecting shots. Uh, and so I want to actually talk about the last boss fight a bit. I actually want to hear what he had to say. And load it again. Alright, let's hear what that guy had to say. Did you hear what happened at Ketchum Post? No, but I hear it was bad. What did you hear? I guess some Jedi came in and caused a lot of trouble. The last thing I feel like dealing with today is a Jedi. Alright, there's a lot of guys actually. You know what? Get the fuck out of here, but I don't think I have a choice. It's uh fine, let's deal with this guy. Can't really deal with this guy. Just wanna get rid of these turrets, because these are actually the biggest problem. Uh, the, the, the fast lightsaber style is amazing though. What? Uh, 
Oh, there's a guy up there using that ability. And he kicked my ass. I mean, it's a nice ability. I can't blame him for that. And I didn't quick save in that, so... Try it again. Did you hear what happened at Ketchup Post? Wow, and he just killed me in one hit. Uh, what- do I have anything better than this? I don't think- really think so. Uh... The thing is- Alright, that- that deals with that guy. Yeah, maybe- maybe we could just let them into the door. Come on in. Okay, maybe that's not that easy. Okay, maybe I'll just, uh, use the repeater in force speed. I mean, I can't blame him, it's an amazing secondary fire. And that one killed me, but I, I think I saved it beforehand, it's okay. No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't even save it to when I killed the guy that I wanted to. Oh, man. Hey, no, I did save it. What the hell hit me that time, then? Alright, I'm not gonna go on to in the middle anymore, because it's like, that's where the, the, the little guys are. Alright, now it's just this guy. Alright, now we gotta deal with the asshole that's up here that's fucking spamming his little bullshit there. Okay, we're, 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 we're good now, we're good now, guys. So, that, that boss fight, though, was pretty interesting. So, uh, what, the thought I was going on with respect, with respect to that, um, so you noticed, uh, you must have noticed that I didn't really have a choice there. I chose, my, well, Kyle Katarn chose to, uh, spare her life. So, obviously, there's no dark side, light side, uh, kind of options here. It also, uh, also brings up a nice, interesting point, uh, which is the fact, like, what is... I need to power this up first. Is Kyle the good guy kind of a thing? And, well, obviously, yes, but he's like... He's kind of like, uh... Uh... Neutral. He's actually like kind of like a, a neutral... Like, actual neutral. Because, like, you see some of my force powers here. What do I have? I can't actually show you because I haven't... But I have, like, I have the lightning shit, which d just drained all my force powers. For example, uh, that's, that's one of the things I have. Um, and I also have the grip ability, uh, which are not light side powers. Uh, so he uses a mix of both for like whatever kind of like because that, that, he's basically mercenary. He doesn't really care. He just kind of is is actually like, which I think is honestly like a much better character than a lot of other like e usually in the Star Wars universe, people are like super evil or super good. Like you're either Mother Teresa or you're Hitler, basically. Uh, and I kind of like the fact that this character is kind of like. None of these extremes. Oh, hi. Kyle, Skywalker. What are you doing here? Lando told me where you were going. Then why aren't you at the Valley of the Jedi? I went to the Valley right after you left Yavin 4, Kyle. Dasan, follow me, I know. Does this mean we have a new Emperor on our hands? It may be worse than that. Remember those experiments on Kejim with the Artusian crystals? With the Valley of the Jedi's power coursing through those crystals, Dasan has succeeded in infusing his troops with the power of the Force. Ah, oh, Sith spit. I think I ran into one of them on Bespin. Are they still in the valley? Not anymore. I managed to scatter Dasan and his reborn troops, and Rogue Squadron chased away their ships. For now, the valley is effectively sealed off, but we have no idea how many troops Dasan managed to empower before we got there. It could be dozens, but it could be thousands. And all of them will have Force powers? Yes, but we've got an advantage due to our training and... discipline. Look out! Oh shit, I get to fight side by side with lights with Luke Skywalker. Dude, he's doing my tactics. I'm the one who force pulls everyone. Uh oh shit. That's a lot of Dark Jedi. Dude, that's my flip action. Oh, 
like I'm adding with my boss. Something's changed in you. You seem less... angry. Maybe. There's a chance Jan may still be alive on the Doomgiver. Sometimes even a small hope is enough to defeat the dark side, Kyle. Listen, Skywalker, there's even more to this than you think. Desan's working with a remnant scientist named Gallic Fyar. They're smuggling something called Cortosis here from Bespin. Damn, that's not good. Why? Well, Cortosis is a rare mineral that resists lightsabers. Great. I'll try and find out what they're doing with the Cortosis. You find the Doomgiver. If you run into Desan, don't try to take him on alone. Now that he's been through the Valley of the Jedi, he'll be more powerful than ever. Don't worry, I'm not totally crazy. May the Force be with you, Kyle. Yeah, you too, Luke. Yeah, so anyway, I was finishing the thought I had before, uh... I think, I think Kyle's a cool character because he's actually, like, huh? likable and believable because he's a kind of like a neutral uh, character in the Star Wars uh, universe, but not canon. So, huh? grab everything I said. Anyways, uh, so the, the boss fight I did with Tavia and I actually left all the, the stuff in there for that. Uh, like all the all the failures and stuff. I actually haven't done that in a while, but I figured you know lightsaber battles are pretty cool to watch. So I figured that'd be pretty pretty neat. I I, I, I'm like that's oh, not that's not that boring. It's actually you know I I really really like you know I I've forgotten how good like the lightsaber combat actually became in this game. Um, I knew somebody else who was a big fan of uh, the lightsaber combat in. Uh, I forget what the other game was. Uh, well, the other the other Star Wars Jedi game, uh, and and I'm like, it, it was kind of older and kind of clunky, but it was much faster. But this one I like, uh, just because it's like, I don't know, it's 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 it looks very Star Warsy, and it's just really cool how like all the blocks c come in and come into play and all slashes. It's really actually quite good. You. It's complicated as fuck, you have to imagine, you know? So I think it's neat. So I, I actually have absolutely no idea where to go. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I haven't been to. What's my objective right now? Search for... Find a way out of the hangar base and search Galaxy Ship the Doomgiver. Oh, here we go. I haven't been here. No, I want to see here about the new T-17. We gotta listen to, we gotta listen to the conversation of the Star Stormtroopers, it's great. And I like the fact I can draw things in the in the walls. It's actually really cool. <laughs> Dude, that's the best thing ever, the fucking mind control. Don't let him get what? Where is the quartermaster? I don't know, sir. Is there a problem? The latest shipment didn't have the power converters I requested. If I see him, I'll let him know you're looking for him. See that you do. Yes, sir. Carry on. We got it, guys. All right. I think that uh, we just turned off the force field. Oh, shit! Fuck. I remember now. You know everything that was in this room. Uh, I think it would have been blown out into space, and I I ended up doing it the way of. Well, I did it the hard way. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I I apparently could have, uh, yeah, done it so much easier. And we just got a turret. That should be good. Wow, okay, so apparently I'm a royal badass. I probably shouldn't have done that. I was thinking to myself, there had to be another way of, of handling that. That seemed pretty difficult, but I managed it anyways, whatever. It wasn't impossible. Intruder! That was. Get him. 
Get up. <laughs> you just get up while they're on the ground. They're all susceptible to it. Every single one. Except for other Jedis. It honestly makes kind of like the other Jedis probably the most difficult part of the, of the game now. I mean, you know, when you're a complete force badass, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna force push everything. Okay, fine. I'll try and choke somebody, okay? Unfortunately my choke currently doesn't do any damage, so that's why I kinda don't use it. But I'll 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 choke the motherfucker. Oh no, that's not choking. I mean, it's really the same thing happened. I mean, when you're playing on this difficulty, you have to use all the tools at your disposal, guys. Alright, I don't know what I'm pressing here, but... Okay, so this... This opens different hangar bay doors, it appears. But we don't really care about that one. That that one opens the... So I, I think we have that door selected, so I think I'm, I think I'm opening doors right now. So just open that guy. Not really necessary. I think it's this one that we actually want to open. Get out of the way, droid. Also, if I use the lightning stuff, it it's way, uses way too much ammunition up. Like, it's, uh, sorry, not ammunition. Well, well, you know, the force is like my ammo, you know. But yeah, it, it does use way too much of that shit, so. Uh, let's go. Ah, uh, that's fun. I don't have enough force powers. Fuck. Yeah, I know I can make it up here. First person jumping. Fuck. Yeah, just let this guy get over here. I think he's dead now. All right, now let's actually jump here in first person. Yeah, yeah dude, we're we're like we we can make that. There we go. See, all you have to do is execute a crouch jump. You know, it would have been nice if fucking Luke Skywalker gave me a bit of a lift, but you know, he's a bit of a dickhead. All right, so we're uh, we skipped the bays. Everything sounds like a lightsaber here. You know, someone said something about how, uh, like if I throw my lightsaber while I'm bringing it out, it does something different. But I, I, I can't see that right now. I know there's also taunting in this game, but it's not set up for single player, so you like spin your lightsaber around. You probably do something with it. Fucking eat lightning. You are a coward. Why did they tell me I'm a coward? I haven't done anything to these guys. There we go. It's either that or they tell me you will die. You're gonna hear that a lot. I don't know what the hell the guy's just doing. He's just slacking off in the vents too, that guy. You know? Lazy fucking Jedi's. Not even training. Alright, let's just heal up for a sec. We also have that nice little turret thing now. Which I, I, I plan to use at some point. Where is it? It's uh, this guy right here. Portable Assault Sentry, guys. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, 
Oh, we got our way to go down here. There's like the weird like... Look like Jeffrey's tubes almost. Alright, so there was like a shield over there, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open this and we're gonna come back up and we see if this opens up. Where the hell is the... I figure out how to open the other one. Pretty sure there is a way to open this, but I just don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe we come back there. Yeah, we're not gonna go here. Oops. Oh, I just did a wall flip, by the way. It's also something you can do. No, let's just kind of hang out in here. Uh, I, I was hoping pressing that would activate turret, but... Fine, you know what? Here. Activate that turret. Look, it's, it's active. I can even defend it. It could be a baller. <laughs> this poor guy. No, I wanted to dance. Shit. That thing's cool, but you can't uh, you can't bring it back with you. It's just gonna kind of it's gonna just kind of sit in the room, you know. Kind of sucks ass. The hell's over here? I don't know. Well, we'll we'll hear we'll heal up and ponder about it. All right, this po that possibly may open actually the thing. Don't hit my turret. I think I think that turret's done. Alright, let's see if we can make it back up here. I don't know if I can jump that high. Ooh, I can almost make it. Oh yeah, we can. Alright, so I pressed a little switch on the side there. So I am absolutely curious to know if that if that I'll actually open this over here. Uh, over here. Uh, is it, that's not it, is it? Can't be it. Over here, guys. No, that didn't actually open that. Fuck this. I've officially given up on this. All right. Actually, let's see what's on the other side here. This gives him now extra curious. Cause I saw that little control pad. I'm like. Hot damn, that has to be a secret, right guys? And, no. Well, these turrets aren't active on me right now, so... I mean, I don't really see a point in, uh... Doing anything with them right now. Oh, we got some elevators here. And one of these guys. That has a... Oh, uh, that has one of those... Droid things. Uh, and when you're gonna say, Mike, what's a droid thing? It's that, like, that ball that hovers around and shoots shit. I'm actually just gonna see what's up here. I think this goes back. Yeah, it leads back to here, this room. That's just, uh, it just opens it up in case, like, hey, I wanna go back, you know? But I don't wanna go back. There's only one way, guys, and it's forward. No, it can't go in there, so... Can't jump oh there we go. Well Let's have a look here. Hopefully this isn't gonna be like uh gonna crush me. It doesn't appear like it. Uh, that looks like uh the way forward. Unless I, unless I see something else, then I guess it, that's it. Nice. It's completely dark here. All right, let's let's go into that guy then. Oh, it just goes to the other side. How lame. Come on, lift. 
You know, I always liked the elevator stuff in the Jedi games. I don't know why. It was always, like, really amusing to me. Like, go up and down them, just have a ride, you know? Ah, right, here we go. That's where we want to go. I always felt it's kind of like a cool mechanic, although I don't know who the hell is, like, using the elevator and just going to the top and bottom floor. I mean, that guy's a- that guy's an asshole. Someone must have just pressed the button a bunch of times. Oh, that was close. Could have been worse. Alright. Alright. Uh, nobody's here right now. Hope we can go to one of these floors. Okay, that's all the time we got for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.